Hey guys, I'm back. I've had a long day and I'm ready to take off all of this makeup. I'm going to share with you my nighttime skincare routine. First, I'm going to put my hair up just so I can get all of that curliness out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and put on my robe so I don't have any nip slips. Now, I usually do most of these steps in the shower. So I just put up my hair and I tightened up my robe. I'm going to go ahead and play some music. I usually like to use Spotify. It's pretty similar to Pandora, just a little better. You're able to create your own playlist and lots of cool stuff like that. So I'm going to play some music. I'm listening to Trey Song's radio. And then I'm going to wash my hands. I'm using Deep Steep Lavender Chamomile Argan Oil Hand Wash. I love this stuff. It's really good and hydrating for your hands. So I'm going to remove my eyelashes. I like to place them in my little container just so that I don't lose them. So I'm going to remove my makeup using the Nighttime Soothing Wipes by Equate. These are very similar to the Neutrogena wipes, but a lot cheaper and you get a lot more for your money. And they do the same. I think they actually even smell a lot better. I like the grapefruit ones too, but I usually use those during the day. I'm going to use this face wipe to get as much makeup off as possible. Um, you're going to see in just a second how much makeup actually comes off once I wipe my face. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I'm going to be washing my face using my Sephora Ultimate Warming Cleanser. You did see this in one of my hauls, my Sephora haul. I love this stuff. I did mention that it was for dry skin. Oh my god, but it is so hydrating. Like, even if you have oily skin, it's not going to leave you oily. It is just like, oh, refreshing. It's maple sap and it's just warming. You apply it to your face on dry skin and it is just heaven in a bottle. So if you haven't tried this face wash, you definitely need to try it out. Deep cleansing, hydrating, and nice and warm. It feels like you're at a spa. Then after I rinse it off, I mean it doesn't lather like I said before, I do like lathering face wash, but that's okay, I like it. I am going to follow up with another face wash along with my Sephora facial wash brush. Um, I am going to be using the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I really, 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 really love this stuff. Now I keep saying I'm going to get myself a Clarisonic. I just don't know why I haven't gone and got one yet. But for right now, this is doing the job. I just scrub, scrub, scrub. I do love this one because it lathers up. It leaves me feeling so refreshed. It smells so good. And I'm just happy with it. Now I probably look like I'm hurting myself, but I'm trying to just remove all of that eyelash glue and the mascara and eyeliner and all of that ugh, that doesn't come off with the makeup wipes and the first wash. So I'm going to rinse off all that face wash. Oh my gosh, this is the best part of the day. Nothing feels better than washing your face. Ugh. I cannot sleep with makeup on. If I do, I just wake up feeling like, ugh, I don't, I try not to do it and my skin breaks out. It's just a hot mess. So I'm going to clean up underneath my eyes, make sure I got all of that stuff. I don't like to rub my face. I usually just pat, pat, pat because then I get all red and we are done washing our face. I'm just going to tone my face using Hydra Fresh Toner by L'Oreal. This is just going to sweep away any dull, dried skin. It's going to protect your moisture loss. It's going to refresh and pretty much brighten your complexion and leave your skin feeling soft and supple. Now for a mask. I have three top face masks. I like the Rose Face Mask. I really enjoy this one. It smells pretty good. Then I like the Sephora face mask, I like the pearl, and I like the pomegranate. Last but not least, I have the Don't Look At Me fresh face mask. Now, I have been feeling a little dry lately, so I'm going to go ahead and go with Don't Look At Me face mask. I love this stuff. It's pretty, it's blue, it smells like Fruit Loops, it's sticky, nice, and thick. Between the rice and the lemon juice, it will leave your skin with nothing to be shy about. Now on the Lush website, it says smooth on this vivid blue mask and you'll want to show anyone and everyone your vivid complexion. 
Ground rice gently scrubs away dry skin. Mirror Mirror Butter moisturizes and zingy lemon juice tones. And if it wasn't enough, we've added organic silk and tofu to soften up all the right ways. The stunning results will have you coming back for more of this scrubby, softened skincare goodness. This is vegan. Um, it does retail for $10.95 and the container is a 2.1 ounce. The only downside to this, which isn't really a bad thing in my opinion, is that you have to keep this refrigerated because it does have lemon juice in it. So you can't just leave it out. So if you forget about it or something, it's going to go bad. This does contain, like I said, fresh lemon juice. Um, organic silken tofu, has rice syrup, ground white rice, um, murmur butter, grapefruit oil. It has so many great ingredients. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this on for about 15 minutes. And in the meantime, in between time, we're going to twerk. Now to kill some time, I'm going to be using my Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub to exfoliate my lip. I do like to exfoliate my lips. I mean, especially I wear a lot of liquid lipstick, so they are very drying throughout the day. So this stuff is so great. It's basically three ingredients. It's going to be castor sugar, jojoba oil, and bubblegum scrub. So the castor sugar the sugar is going to exfoliate your lips, the jojoba oil is going to moisturize your lips, and the bubblegum flavor is going to satisfy your sweet tooth. So it's a win-win situation with this lip scrub. It does retail online for $9.95, but I did pick it up in store for about 6 or $7. So now that I'm over the initial shock of my cousin in that picture, if you want to do see that picture, the link will be in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and whiten my teeth because nobody wants to walk around with yellow teeth. So this takes quite a long time, you know what I mean. So I'm going to wait there for it to finish and look at this ugly sister of mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's super cute. I love her. Love you, Cesare. Mm hmm. You know I do. So finally our 15 minutes is up. I'm gonna remove my whitening tray and I'm gonna rinse off this mask with some warm water. I love this mask guys. The lemon juice in this mask is gonna brighten and even out my skin tone. The rice in this mask is exfoliating and it removed all my dead skin cells from my face when I originally applied. Now I love how smooth my skin feels and how bright it looks once I'm done. This mask is just amazing. It leaves me feeling so refreshed. So I'm going to go ahead and pat dry. I don't use an exfoliator every day and I don't use a mask every day. It was just mask day so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So as you can see I look a lot brighter. My skin tone looks a lot more even. Now I'm going to apply once more my L'Oreal Hydra Fresh Toner. This is alcohol free so if you do have dry skin don't worry about that. Now as of lately I have been incorporating the Olay Regenerous Regenerating Eye Lifting Serum into my nighttime facial routine. Now this is just a precaution that I've recently started taking against future possible wrinkles. Uh, I know it's inevitable but as I get older I just want to prevent any wrinkles. So. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my eyelids. I'm going to follow up with the Olay Night of Olay Firming Cream. Now the fragrance of this is like horrible. It smells like baby powder. But for a firming cream, it definitely does its job. It leaves me feeling hydrated as well and my skin always feels nice and soft. Now if I follow up in the morning with a 
uh, moisturizer. I'm definitely going to be using my Sephora moisturizer. That one is the Intense Moisturizer. It smells so good. It leaves my skin feeling so hydrated. But if I use this one at night and I use a lot of it, I don't necessarily have to moisturize in the morning. I just feel moisturized. So I'm going to rub this all into my skin until my skin sucks all of that up. And I'm all finished. This is my nighttime routine and I'm going to head to bed, guys. See you in my next video. Love you. Bye.